In the distant future, our descendants will escape to the stars. Humans have lived on the Earth for 200,000 years, but one day we will have to leave. We will have to go because the Earth is in peril. Pollution is killing the forests and the sea. Global warming will turn parts of the planet into deserts. Within thousands of years, we may face an ice age. We may even be annihilated by asteroids. And in five billion years, the Earth will be consumed by the sun when it expands and dies. The Earth will be scorched, the mountains will melt and the oceans boil. It's an enormous challenge. We have already taken our first tentative steps into space. But these are tiny compared to the giant leap we will need to take if we are to escape and save ourselves. We will need to develop new ways of crossing the void of space to reach the stars. We will have to reinvent space travel we will have to reinvent ourselves. We will travel in giant space arcs or frozen in suspended animation. We will use biology and genetics to change our bodies and create new human species adapted to living in space. Intelligent robots will be sent to explore the edges of the galaxy. The human race may evolve into a new species, part human, part machine. This is not science fiction, it is science fact. We are already taking the first steps. Our destiny is to leave the planet Earth because we have no other choice. We are about to embark on the greatest adventure the human race will ever experience. Our first steps will be small. In two or three hundred years, we will live on outposts on Mars. But in a few thousand years, we will terraform Mars into a planet with an atmosphere like Earth. But this will only be a temporary solution. When our sun dies, we will have to travel much further beyond the solar system. Each year, astronomers discover more and more new planets orbiting around distant stars. Quite literally, the, there are more stars in the visible universe than there are grains of sand on every beach on Earth. And we believe that probably there are a majority of those stars have planets. So therefore, there are more, potentially more planets in the universe than there are even stars. So the, the numbers of potential sites like that are just overwhelmingly large. Soon, we hope to discover a planet like Earth. Even if we find a planet just like Earth, we will have to travel an enormous distance to reach it. Even the distance to our nearest star is difficult to imagine. If the distance between the Earth and the Sun is about four feet, which in this case the sun is only the size of a half inch marble and the earth is barely bigger than the thickness of a sheet of paper. Our nearest star is over 270 miles away. 
if you were driving a car at highway speed trying to get to the New Year's star, it would take over 50 million years to get there. Even our largest rockets would take almost 100,000 years. Compared to the Voyager spacecraft, which was going 37,000 uh, miles per hour as it left our solar system, it would still take 80,000 years to get there. And the fastest thing we know of is light, and that takes over four years to get there. If a spaceship could travel at the speed of light, it would still take many thousands of years to cross the galaxy. Generating enough power to travel these enormous distances is a huge problem. Just to give you an example, if you wanted to send something the size of the shuttle orbiter to our nearest star, and you were going to take a leisurely pace of nine centuries to get there, and use the type of rockets that are on the shuttle. There's not enough mass in the universe to act as your propellant in those cases. The other problem is speed. Only by traveling incredibly fast will we be able to reach a new home in a reasonable amount of time. But there's a problem. There appears to be a cosmic speed limit. 186,000 miles per second, the speed of light. Albert Einstein believed nothing could go faster than light. If Einstein is right, traveling across the galaxy will be almost impossible. But was he right? If there is a cosmic speed limit, then journeys to distant planets will take thousands of years. The only way to transport the human race will be to build space arcs giant ships that will carry generations of humans. In a few thousand years, we will build massive space arcs. Each ship will be several miles long, supporting thousands of people. Because the distances are so huge, these arcs will take centuries, even millennia, to reach their destinations. Whole generations of humans will live and die on board these massive ships. This is a one-way trip. <laughs>